Hey guys, Dean here. So I know a lot of you guys who watch me are running your own businesses. A lot of you guys run social media marketing agencies or just collaborate as a team and want some kind of software for project management. And I know a lot of you guys out there are using Slack. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best free Slack alternative software out there for teams and project management and collaboration. And that's none other than this software called Zulip. So let's jump into the basic features of Zulip and how you can get started using this software. Software. and maybe you'll find it's the solution for your team and for your project. Okay, as you can see, we have the Zulip website over here and I'm going to be running over some of the basic features of Zulip first of all, just so you kind of get a basic understanding of the software as a whole. So Zulip is a 100% open source free software. Okay, this is built by a vibrant community of thousands of different developers all over the world. Since it's open source, it's a highly collaborative project and it's been very well maintained. Now you're able to actually self-host on this platform unlike a lot of the other types of team chat software Zulip lets you self-host and you can also use the cloud version as well which is really interesting now Zulip we're going to run over the software as you can see it's, it's open source here it has seamless integrations with literally everything you use okay there's over 90 different native integrations with Zulip with over 100 or more available through Zapier and IF Triple T okay so users can also build their own integration if they choose to through Zapier's API. So if you're a developer, then that's going to be very lucrative for you. So you can see some integrations over here, Travis CI, GitHub, Heroku, Zendesk, which is for support tickets, Jira, Sentry, and PagerDuty. There's also threading. So threading is one of Zulip's most popular features. Threading allows for more organization and easy to follow instructions with multiple topics. Okay, this reduces clutter. It makes it a lot easier to find specific information that you're looking for and it also enables users to participate in several different discussions all at once without getting overwhelmed okay very important with note-taking software and team software so think of this like notion and slack put together it's a really great piece of software and it lets you resolve topics when they're completed and it streamlines communication within a team or an organization so we're going to be jumping onto that in a few moments there's really good flexibility and data control there's flexible authentication options guest access and the ability to export data to an on-premises installation at any time whatsoever and this gives you complete control over your organization's data so as you can see there's a page in the website for why Zulip if you want to learn a little bit more about it there's some images to show information about the software such as the sidebars the message panes how everything works there's some really great documentation on here features security integrations apps self-hosting moving your project over to Zulip from a pre-existing place so maybe you're using slack before maybe you're using a free or paid other software and you want to use this there's also some great resources on the software so we have getting started guide a help center community support and chat so you can get help from others who are already using it and already have expertise and for admins who want to set up the organization first of all install a Zulip server or upgrade one and for github as well there's also pricing over here so if you don't want to use the free plan you can move on to the standard plan so Zulip cloud is hosting on Zulip server so you're working on cloud right and there's a free plan for on cloud and a free plan for self-hosted so self-hosted is you hosting Zulip software on your own domain so you upload the files and host it yourself rather than using the website think of this like wordpress.com is wordpress's original self-hosted cloud service they host it whereas when you self-host it you download wordpress from wordpress.org upload it to your website that's basically the best comparison to explain it so Zulip has that too you have the standard so you only have a limit of 10,000 messages of search history on free and up to five gigabytes of storage and a full featured team chat service hundreds of integrations and advanced roles and permissions and guest accounts so you get a lot for free but if you do want to upload you get unlimited search history double the amount of file storage message retention policies brand the Zulip software as your own with your own logo which might be good if you run a very professional team priority commercial support and funds the open source project which is very important because it helps the software get better so these are the pricing plans features it goes over all the features here so we can have a look at the messaging system the highly configurable notifications the keyboard shortcuts if you want to have a much smoother workflow and it goes over literally everything 
everything from full text search to statistics, draft saving, guess, literally everything. Then it also goes with the security. Now with all open source software, you know that it's very secure. Since the code's already out there, you know you can trust the software. And that's why I think Zulip's really great because it's open source. You can also download Zulip as an app. So you can download Zulip for Windows, which is actually a little bit better than the web software version. I personally prefer just downloading software. It has a cleaner look. It has tray integration, native Windows notifications, and support for multiple accounts. So you can switch your accounts from the GUI interface. And this supports Mac OS, Windows, Linux, Android and iOS, and Terminal. If you want to self-host Zulip, what you do is you can download their open source team chat software over here. And there's documentation about it as well. And you can get started. Now I'm going to be showing you what on the cloud for this demonstration video. And also when you do set up an organization on Zulip, which I'll show you in a few moments, did you have a really extensive guide to getting started, setting up your organization, moderating your organization, setting up Zulip for different purposes and joining an already existing organization. And basically a full user guide, which is hundreds of articles on each and every nook and cranny regarding the software and how to use it. So very powerful here. This is definitely one of the very best team chat softwares to get your team fully immersed in and engaged in okay so if you're looking for something if you're looking for a solution maybe you run some kind of agency maybe you need to collaborate on something or you run some kind of team or you're having a project management scenario Zulip can definitely be the solution the fact that it's open source and it has really great documentation it might be something you want to consider on github you can also download the Zulip web server and web application which is updated as you can see two days ago all the updates get pushed to github as well on github you can view all of the source code so like i said it's open source you can view that all on github and the great thing about github is it also has a lot of guides and quick links you can jump to which take you to different areas of the website and external links too to get you started so if you prefer that you can start entirely from github as well now that we've had a look at the getting started guide let me just show you the basics and setting up an account so you know how this exactly works so what we want to do is you want to go to new organization in the top right and then you want to type in your organization name so i'm just going to call this this DA and call it toot for tutorial. You call it whatever your organization is going to be. Now, business type, if it's a business, then you want to select that. You can also do education if you're in a school or research facility down here as well. Events and conferences, government, political group, communities, and personal. Personal is kind of cool, but that's kind of if you're collaborating either by yourself or with only a few people. I'm just going to show it for businesses because a lot of small businesses might want to use this. I'm going to change the URL to whatever the organization is called, and this will be the URL. Zulipchat com then we're going to select our email address i'm just going to select my basic google account and i'm going to press next and now you want to go to your email and verify it so you should be getting an email right now go through to your email account and press verify and then it should finish your sign up process after you've clicked that link it'll come with all the data you typed in before and then you'll finish your account so i'm just going to type in my name i'm going to give it a basic password over here and agree to the terms of service and press sign up to complete our account and now it will finish our zulip account and it'll pop us into the dashboard now as you can see, I'm in dark mode right now. I think this is just my browser settings. You should probably see a white mode. So your screen should probably be white, but this is the interface. There's a cog in the top right hand corner over here, which we can have a look at some settings, but this is basically the dashboard. So the streams over here, and currently there's two streams. For an example, if we click on general, it will show us the subtopics underneath each stream. So we have general and then some examples like swimming turtles, topic demonstration. We can view them individually by clicking them. If I just click general, it'll show me them grouped together, kind of like as mini forum posts when you're on a forum. Currently we have two topics and we're on general. Now, if we click on all messages, at the top it will show us literally all the messages in our Zulu channel so we have the welcome bot message we have some private messages from our private streams here and then the two general topics we viewed before now in the search bar at the top we can click on all messages and it'll go to the search bar so we can filter this then by all messages all public streams in organization direct messages starred messages ats which are mentions alerted messages unread messages topics marked as resolves sent to me stream core team and stream general so that's under our streams over here these two stream subtopics and messages with one or more link 
So this search panel is your filter. So this is your search and filter by clicking up there, which is really useful. We have the user pane on the right hand side. So if you have a lot of users invited to your organization, we can press the search key to filter that. Of course, I only have one user right now, which is just me. So there's nothing really to filter. I can click on the user to actually open up the user. And this will also open up the messaging service. So I can directly message a user within the organization. Clicking on the three dots if I'm the manager, obviously this is customizing our own profile. So we can set our status. We can go invisible, just like on a messaging app when you hide your online status. You can view your profile. So that opens up a mini profile over here. You can have a look at the streams that you've subscribed to, the user groups that you're currently in. You can also have a look at messages with yourself, messages you've sent to others and edit your profile is where you will edit your profile and it opens up the settings pane. Now, direct messages go under here when you do send a message and you can see there's an example with the welcome bot. So we can see the welcome bots message sent to us over here that we saw on all messages before. Now, under recent conversations, this is conversations we've recently either had from our private messages, which is private streams here, or our general messages, which I showed you before under streams and general. So this shows all recent conversations. Now we can filter them by include DMs. So that'll show our direct messages from the direct messages section. We can also click on include muted. So that's muted users. Unread is things we haven't opened and participate is anything which we've been attached to. We can also invite more users to the recent conversations or specific conversations on the right hand side as well. And we can also compose messages from the bottom and put them inside the certain channels we want to compose them to and the topic name and then the message over here to create a new thread. So this can be a stream message which goes into our streams which are like our topics and then a direct message which would send it directly to a user or the bot depending on what you filter as. Now under streams if you want to create a new stream you just click on add stream and then create a stream and this will basically open up the stream creator and it'll give you some different options to create a stream. So you would type in the stream name and then the stream description. Now as you can see there's a few different areas where there's a question mark. Clicking on that question mark will directly open that specific part of the help tab and it'll explain what everything means. So stream descriptions are displayed when viewing the stream in the web and desktop apps and can be used to explain the purpose of the stream and link to usage guidelines, resources, or related streams. So that's the purpose of that. We can announce the new streams in general. So when you create a new topic or stream in this case, which it basically is the same thing, you can announce that in the general, which is the general chat or general stream, and people will be aware that you've added a new stream. You can change the permissions. So who can access it, public, private, or private with protected history? Who can post in them? So can it only be admins or admins, moderators, and full members? And who can unsubscribe from them? What's the message retention period? So if you've got the upgraded plan, this is basically the message retention. So I believe this is how long it stays on. You can choose the subscribers to the stream and add and remove users down here as well. We can tick where we want it to go. For example, we can click on the left ones at the side to edit those as well, or click the plus at the top to continue making our new stream. So I'm just going to type in new and I'm just going to put it on default and press create just to show you we've now created a new stream, which shows under subscribe in all streams over here. Click on this user, sorts them by the number of subscribers, sorts them by the name or sorts them by their weekly traffic. So how many people have viewed it from your team? So that's the stream settings and creating a new stream and how to filter and customize it. Now there's a question mark over here. So it says messages sent to a stream are seen by everyone subscribed to that stream, catch up on a stream. And it just gives you a few tips here and there to use the software. Now, if I would click on my new stream under new at the bottom, I would type in a message. So if I wanted to create something within the stream for people to read, I could add it by typing in at the bottom. So just for an example, I'll just write some general content. Hey guys, welcome to the new stream. I'll be adding information on the new project here. Stay tuned. Obviously you wouldn't post that. You'd post specific to what you're posting, but that's an example of how you would manage it to create a new topic within your stream. Now, when you send it, this will create a new topic. So now we can click on that topic and it will reply to that topic down here. And also there's new and then the stream events. So it adds these to the side and it highlights the one which is currently being selected. Now you can also click these little markers here and you click on mute topic, mark all messages in the topic as red, copy the link to it to directly share it to people. So that's how you create your links. You can move the topic so we can move it from new to general, for an example, and send automated notices to the old topics they were going to be moving it. You can mark it as resolved. So that's just like on other management softwares like Trello, you mark something is completed when it doesn't need to be looked at anymore 
anymore and it's all finished or you can delete the topic over here as well and just delete it now if you want to invite more users like i mentioned earlier on the right of a topic or stream you click on invite more users and you type in the emails in a list so the format would be either this you type in the emails like this with a comma and that will work or you type in emails like this and then a line break and that will work as well or instead of emailing it you can just generate an invite link and click on generate as well and you can set when it expires just like when you're on discord it works exactly the same when you're creating an invite link yet you can just email them and then you can select do they join as guests members moderators organization administrators or owners streams they should join automatically when joining and you just press invite and it'll invite them via email or when you generate an invite link it generates it and then you can copy and paste this and share it on chat apps or emails however you'd like and invite people to your organization and you can create these unique invites to invite people to certain ranks immediately upon joining for different purposes and have a few different links for different channels and purposes so now we're just going to jump into the settings for the last part of this tutorial so if you go in the settings pane up here you can see we're on the Zulip cloud on the free plan we can manage the streams from here we can view personal settings which we had a look at earlier so this is things like account privacy and just profile information and we can go to organization information by clicking switch from here we can change the type the name the description the profile picture organization settings down here organization permissions so we can change all our permissions down here as well custom emojis we want to use linkifiers code playgrounds for in browser development environments user groups so if we want to create user groups we can do it from here as well we can manage users so this is where we would remove users that we don't want in our team anymore or just manage accounts that are currently inactive and deactivate users in there as well bots is where we can add different bots so if you click on add new bot there's a few different bots which you can add and set up as well but there's a few defaults like the email gateway notification and welcome bot which work by default to push notifications emails and welcome users automatically in the chat invitations are the invitations we sent earlier so you can manage them from here you can revoke them to make invite links or email invites not work anymore custom profile fields is where we add things so this would be things like short text long text links things that you want people to include in their team profiles as members we can change general information like the time format emoji formats how things show up default streams authentication methods and data exports under settings there's a few other things too so there's usage statistics so you can see the usage stats of the app message formatting search filters you can look at about zulip the help center and contact support jump to the integrations the documentation on the api plans and pricing and the desktop and mobile apps now on personal settings one thing i do want to show you though is notifications so from here we can change notifications and what type of messages you want to see notifications for on zulip so this is notifications notifications for streams dms mentions and alerts i mean customize the sounds and even everything to the email message notifications in here so if you want to change notifications that's precisely how you do it in the software and that's how to use zulip for team collaboration projects and for project management to collaborate with your team share information start projects and communicate effectively and productively if you want to download the software the link will be in the description down below leave any comments or questions you have if you need any help and i'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible and all the useful links will be in the description down below concerning this software if the video was useful or informative in any way just smash the like button and subscribe for more business and finance and travel videos on this channel and i'll see you real soon